Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another what I eat in a day to lose weight video and I'm also going to include um, exercises that I did. So this morning I started my day with my regular cup of coffee and sugar. Um, I had a little bit of water but I didn't have anything to eat yet. And I did my animal chores which took about one hour outside feeding all the animals and refilling the waters and all that. So now I'm going to do my first workout of the day before breakfast and after that I will show you what I have for breakfast. That was my morning workout. I'm about to do the cool down right now. And I'm gonna take a shower and prepare myself my breakfast. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm having for breakfast. And this is something that I had yesterday for breakfast and I really liked it, so I'm going to make it again. It's basically kind of like a parfait. I use non-fat, um, no sugar Greek yogurt and I sweeten that with some stevia. So then, I haven't mixed the stevia in yet, but I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to add one cup of these uh, frozen berries, cherry berry blend. Um, I think this was from Aldi's. And then the, the yogurt was also from Aldi's. And then I add in half a serving of the shredded wheat. So for half a serving is 105 calories instead of the 210. So I add a few of those on here just kind of like a crunchy, like a granola that a parfait will usually have. Oh, and I also add vanilla to the yogurt, I forgot that. Um, I'm having this cup, this equals to three cups of water and I just added some fruit punch flavoring, sugar free. And all that comes out to 354 calories with the coffee with sugar that I had earlier before I did my exercise. So the whole entire breakfast is 354 calories. So it's pretty light and it leaves me with 1,151 calories for the rest of the day once I put in my exercise. So I can definitely have space for like snacks and stuff before lunch or after lunch, somewhere in between lunch and dinner. So that's what I'm having for breakfast and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, it is 12 o'clock. I'm about to have lunch. I didn't have any snacks up until this point. For my lunch, I'm having one of these mini uh, cinnamon raisin bagels, which is 120 calories. And then I topped each half with a tablespoon of cream cheese each. So it's 100 calories for two tablespoons. And I'm also cooking some eggs and spinach, which I'm going to add some salsa to. Um, I'm just eating the eggs for extra protein. So it's about half a cup of spinach, 
and two eggs and then I'll add a few tablespoons of salsa just to add some flavor and that will be my lunch so this is what it all looks like and then I inserted all the calories for that so the lunch is 391 calories give or take and that's for the bagel with the cream cheese the two eggs and then the the salsa and the spinach which is almost barely any calories added but it adds tons of flavors and um, vitamins from the spinach so all right it's about two o'clock and I'm feeling kind of low on energy and not uh, necessarily hungry but I feel like I need some sugar or something so I'm gonna have one of these uh, Greek yogurt protein bars it's the mixed berry flavor and then I'm also gonna have an orange um, these are about 70 calories and then the bar is 190 calories so I'm gonna add that into my fitness pal and that'll be my snack and I won't have anything else to eat until dinner time so Alright, it's dinner time and I wanted to mention I was downloading another video earlier so while that was downloading I did a 25 minute Zumba dance fitness video so I added that to my cardio for today um, with the 30 minutes that I did in the morning so that was my exercise for today and then for dinner I made these really um, big sweet summer salads and this is my portion um, it's made with iceberg lettuce, spinach, cabbage romaine lettuce and then I topped it off with grape tomatoes, strawberries, the bread and butter pickles and some turkey, some chopped turkey and then we're gonna have that with this poppy seed dressing so I'll use the two tablespoons for 160 calories and then I also kept it simple today I made this supreme um, extra large pizza from Aldi's so that's finishing up in the oven and I'll just have the one serving for that that's 330 calories so with the salad and the pizza, my dinner comes out to 682 calories. And then with the exercise I inserted from earlier, that leaves me with 16 remaining calories for the, for the day. So that's pretty much all I'm going to have for today. So that is everything that I ate in the day plus exercise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.